What's going on guys, Flickify here, and we're back again today with another career mode ploy review. If you guys do want to enjoy this episode and want to support this series, do leave a like down below, helps out so much. And if you guys want to leave any player suggestions for future players you want me to review, go ahead and do that in the comments section below. And with that said, let's jump into the video today. At the start of career mode, Vieto is a 78 rated striker, 20 years old, showing great potential and has a value of 6.5 million. However, when he sent an inquiry over to Villarreal, they want 27 and a half million for him. A very inflated price and one of the highest inquiries I've seen for players that I've reviewed. We'll move on to the player information. And you guys can see he's relatively short, 5 foot 8. Uh, he is playing the striker position, right footed, high low work rates, 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Has the long shot taker trait from the start and unfortunately does not have any specialties. But if we move on to the attributes, you guys can see... He's very well rounded in the physical department. Pretty much all those stats are in the low 80s and upper 70s. So right from the start, he's got a good amount of pace and physical attributes. His technical attributes are also quite good. 80 ball control, 81 dribbling. His shooting and passing is pretty good for a striker. But we'll jump ahead and see what he looks like when he is 30 years old. By the time Vieto reached his peak, he managed to achieve an 87 overall rating for me. Any value of 29 and a half million. And he managed to pick up a few specialties along the way, the dribbler, the acrobat, and the clinical finisher specialties to go alongside the distance shooter specialty that he starts off with. And they're all really relevant specialties to have for that striker position. And if we move on to the attributes, you guys can see he managed to achieve growth across the board, including the physical department, managing to achieve some ratings in the mid to upper 80s in the physical department. And the technical department, pretty much all his stats are in the upper 80s and lower 90s, at least for the ones that are relevant to the striker positioning. I mean, he's got 92 dribbling, 91 long shots, 91 finishing, and 89 shot power, as well as 87 volleys. All really good ones to have for the striker position. But I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here and the goals and highlights to follow. Right from the start, Vieta reminded me quite a bit of a couple of other players that I've reviewed over the course of FIFA 15, Dybala and Lacazette to name a few. Just really pacey strikers that also have some immense finishing and dribbling as well. Uh, but Vieto, I don't think he was quite as good as some of those other strikers. I think he was probably third out of those three that I listed off in terms of how well he played, but he did have a number of pro attributes. His pace, obviously, very good, mid to upper 80s. His dribbling, even better than his pace, to be completely honest. He had 92 dribbling and 86 ball control, and you guys will see from the clips, he managed to dance around quite a few defenders. He also has the four-star skill moves, which obviously comes in handy, so you can achieve those Ronaldo chops, Verba spins, etc., and his shooting was quite good. I managed to achieve a couple of good finesse shots from outside the box and one really nice long shot as well. And finally, his positioning was among the best that I've used because he has really good attacking positioning with 90 and then he has high low work rates. So he's going to stay at that striker position. He's going to stay up for you and he's not going to drift back too much for you. And we'll move on to a couple of cons for him. His two most notable ones for me are his price at the start. It's going to be really expensive for you to pick him up and you have to be a very notable team in order to pick him up. And also, his strength is only 55, so he can get pushed off the ball pretty easily. His final con is his heights, which kind of goes alongside the strength. He's only 5'8", so he's not going to win a lot of headers for you. Overall, though, I'm going to give him a 9.6 rating for his overall rating and a value for price of 8.8 .8 because $27.5 that's a lot of money to be spending. And I've used other players that played similar but you can pick up for a lot less but guys i hope you have enjoyed the review today if you did make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you're new around here until the next review this has been flickify i'll be talking to y'all again soon